Here's a question. What motivates you to do your job each day? Well, scientists in Richardson thought he had all the motivation he needed until chance and the slimmest of odds changed everything. Kevin Reese explains, and I gotta tell you, this one comes with a very happy ending. Yeah, so we're gonna, you're gonna uh, revise the model. At UT well, Dallas, you know, hyperspectral imaging as well. Dr. Shashank Searcy so, you know, has a very complicated job. Is to make sound sensitive particles. Helping doctors find new and less invasive ways to treat cancer, specifically neuroblastoma. So we encapsulate drugs, we release them at the site of the tumor. Treatments that might take the place of radiation someday and all the harm it can do. These are all things that occur because of the therapy itself. Right, not right. the actual cancer. <laughs> but he is a scientist who works in an office, works in a lab, never even met a neuroblastoma patient it's, until... It's, it's surreal. It's, it's still hard to believe. Uh, his I, own son was born. Um, that was just an absolute shock to both me and, and my wife. And neuroblastoma, the most common cancer in infants, strikes about 800 children each year in the U.S. And J.D., the son of a scientist who studies it, was suddenly diagnosed with it too. It, it still boggles my mind a little bit. The, the, the odds of... That nervous you know, laughter you, because... Uh, yeah, data was his first word, but... Dada. Yeah, dada. This neuroblastoma story has a happy ending. Hip, hip, hooray! JD is 20 months old now. He responded very well to traditional chemotherapy and is in remission. Yeah. His dad, the scientist, and his mom, a physician, able to get him the expert help he needed. And we're just very, very thankful and lucky that we're fortunate with his prognosis and with the outcome. The outcome for a dad who studies this cancer. Uh, last year was really scary for us. Is he knows he chose the right field of medicine. He plans to work even harder. One of the first questions I'm gonna ask myself right now is if, uh, God forbid, something were to happen where my son's cancer were to come back, would I be comfortable giving what we develop in our lab to my own son? A son, a survivor, all the motivation a scientist, huh? and okay. a dad might need. How about the swing? You want to go on the swing? In Frisco, I'm Kevin Reese. Well, so happy for you, Dr. Searcy, and your family. May he be blessed with health all his life. Yeah, really, really. Uh, and I think a story like that really drives home what Thanksgiving is all about. You know, we talk about the, oh, the, the, the roads are so crowded, and the airports, and missing flights. But, yeah. I mean, that, being thankful... That, that's your, what it's all about. Having your little guy right there. Yeah. Nothing more important than that. No yeah. doubt. No doubt.